Item number PAC 51137. Index Virtual Pet. Proposed class Safe. Interim Containment Procedures. PAC 51137 is to be kept running as continuously as possible in Technological Items Lab 8 at Site 71. PAC 51137-1 is to be cleaned as needed and monthly backups taken in case of hardware failure. Description PAC 51137 is a piece of software installed on PAC 51137-1, auto running on boot up and simulating PAC 51137-2. PAC 51137 has no GUI, but is equipped with a command line interface, allowing detailed interrogation of PAC 51137-2's state and history. PAC 51137-1 is a laptop manufactured by the Dell Corporation in 1995. It runs a version of the Unix operating system and shows no anomalous properties. PAC 51137-2 is the experiences of a male white rat named Sydney. It lives in a cage with a female rat named Thumper, both tended by their human owner provisionally designated PAC 51137-4 in a small apartment probably in Dayton. Ohio. Interrogation of PAC 51137's memories is laborious and difficult, but some additional details have been pieced together. PAC 51137-4 is named Mike or Mick. Seven possible real-world analogues of PAC 51137-4 have been identified, but confirmation and monitoring are deemed minimum priority. PAC 51137-4 works from home as a graphic designer and spends at least one hour a day petting and playing with Sydney and Thumper. There are extensive but fragmentary details concerning PAC 51137-4's divorce and dating pattern and its hobby as astronomer. Notes by PAC 51137-4 on the luminosity of the stars in the Sirius system are found to match that of baseline reality for the corresponding time codes. PAC 51137-2 operates at approximately 1 1,000th one of real time, meaning it takes roughly 2.8 years to simulate one 24-hour period. Log files show Sydney has been running subjectively for nearly 10,000 years. PAC 51137 has a help file transcribed below. To simulate a universe, we don't need to simulate a universe. Only the sense impressions and mental processes of an individual creature, as it experiences and interacts with that universe. To simulate the mental processes, we don't need to simulate a brain, or even a complete mind, only the conscious activity which a brain would produce. Obviously, even this limited simulation cannot run in real time. However, the intractable problem of CPU speed can be reduced to the trivial problem of runtime. Evaluation. The item is not anomalous, but is a product of temporal reality bending. Thus, it is assigned standard containment with interim procedures continued. However, we strongly recommend the search for its creator be a high priority.